I was born with spina bifida in St. Petersburg, Russia. It was a miracle that I survived and shortly after that, I lived in orphanage number 13 for six years, no medical treatment. The day changed, I was adopted and came to the US. When she first came here, she was very sick. In fact, the doctor said she probably would not have a full life. So I'm thinking, what can I do as a mom to get her stronger? And I thought, well, I guess sports. I got her involved in wheelchair basketball and track, and I was doing it to keep her alive. I had no idea that she'd become the fastest wheelchair racer in the world. I really want to be defined as an athlete. I do have a disability, and that's okay, but I want people to look a little beyond that and look at the athleticism side. I was starting eighth grade. We had to write down all these goals and they wrote down, I want to be an Olympian. And so I went to my mom and she was like, okay, we'll start this journey together. When I saw Tatiana compete at her first games in Athens, I had tears and she said, why are you crying? And I thought, it's not that she won or came in second, it's that maybe she won the game of life. For me, it's really important to be an advocate for your sport because when I leave, I mean, I want to leave a legacy that I've helped improve this sport. So the people that I'm mentoring, the girls who are 10 years old can say, people with disabilities can do anything that they want to do. I have a motto in Russian, it's Yasama, which means I can do it and I can do it myself. People thought, you wouldn't survive the orphanage, you're not going to be a Paralympic athlete, you're not going to win 24 major marathons, and I've hit all those. It's really important to have that mindset that anything is possible.